Hello, my fellow subscribers. How y'all doing? This is your boy Sabrap, and this is the Evoter Professional Microphone, the YX-3. What is up guys? It's your boy Subrap. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a little unboxing. I actually have a couple of things that I'm doing today. I'm going to be unboxing this. I'm also going to be rebuilding my Mobulus 6, but that's another video, not in this video. If you want to see that video, check down in the link in the description. Today we are actually going to be reviewing and looking at the Evoter Professional Microphone, the YX3. Um, this, this microphone, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, got a little info here. This microphone is for sale currently, as of this moment, on Amazon for about 25 bucks. Uh, 24.47, it is a noise canceling condenser microphone. It's kind of like a budget version. So, the reason I am doing this unboxing of this is just so that people can see what it looks like, what it sounds like. I'll be doing a little audio test. So you can hear what the audio sounds like now. Um, I'll throw in a little clip of what the audio sounds like after it is connected to my phone. Hello, my fellow subscribers. How y'all doing? This is your boy Sabrap, and this is the Evoter Professional Microphone. So if you don't know, this, this microphone, it comes in two different colors. Silver, which is actually pretty cool. My wife got me this phone, so she picked out the color. I probably would have rather the silver. It looks pretty dope, but uh, the, the it also comes in a black. I'm sorry, a uh, a blue. The silver has silver and black, and the blue is uh, blue and black. So um, yeah, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter um, audio jack. So for instance, in my case, I have a Google Pixel which is what is doing the recording right now. And the audio cable, 3.5 millimeter audio cable should be able to plug into my phone and then I can do some desktop, like I can put the, the condenser mic set up on this 360 degree swivel tripod and I can use it to do my unboxing videos. When I'm talking, it will record my audio and hopefully my audio alone not like my kids running downstairs or screaming in the background or the dogs next door that the neighbor has that doesn't want to shut up, you know, stuff like that. So um, this is basically just to try and make your, vi your videos a little more professional. Hopefully it has a good sound quality, like a deep tone um, to make your voice sound a little deeper than it actually is uh, and, and smooth. Uh, but crisp at the same time. So anyways, on with the unboxing. This uh, has unidirectional directivity. It's a frequency of 100 to 16,000 hertz. It operates on 1.5 to 10 volts. So in case anybody is wondering about that, that's probably the most important thing to know. Um, it does about 0.5 milliamp of a current, which is nothing um, and it 
has a sign ratio of 60 decibels. So I, if that means anything to anyone, I guess that's about how loud it can get. So let's go ahead and unbox this, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, this is the eVoter, hope I'm saying that right, eVoter YX3 Professional Microphone. What comes in the box? So supposedly in the box, it comes with a condenser microphone. Obviously, that's what you're buying. Comes with a condenser microphone. It comes with an adjustable tripod. So let's find the adjustable tripod. That would be this. It looks like it's pretty well packaged. Um, everything seems to be nicely packaged. That's pretty sturdy. It's got some nice little, uh, like, notches in it, so it, it locks into place, kind of. It looks like it'll probably be pretty sturdy. So it comes with that tripod. Um, it also comes with this holder here that screws onto the tripod. It comes with a windshield. That's what they're calling this, is a windshield. So I'm not really sure what a windshield does. I'll Google it and then I'll put it on the screen, but I'm assuming it kind of spreads out the the audio that's going into the mic to make it maybe more evenly going in I don't, i'm not really sure i'll have to google what a windshield actually does but it comes with one of those maybe it just looks more professional <laughs> um comes with this uh happy unhappy card <laughs> 12 month product warranty so that's pretty cool that it comes with that. I guess you would just scan this and it would get you in the process of um, being able to... Uh, no, this is actually their Facebook website and their official website. So that's where you would go is their official website if you wanted to um, probably give them a review on there or also uh, contact them for any kind of service. They have an email here. Um, it says that you can write a review on Amazon to share your experience and encourage us. And you can also register your, as a member and join our product insight program for early access to our latest programs. Definitely going to do that. Maybe they have some other cool stuff that they'll just send me after making this video. Um, it has a user guide. Pretty cool. Seems simple enough. So here you can see they have the cell phone with the audio jack, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack going in, which is here. And then it has a red connector that will plug to the microphone itself, which is going to plug into here. Like that. Pretty solid connection there. That snapped in very well. That's not going to come loose. Um, this is going to go into your phone, and then this here is going to go into the back of the microphone, the bottom of the microphone. It doesn't look like you could really mess this up because it can only go in one way. It snaps in. It's pretty, it's 
pretty snug. It's in there pretty tight. You press this button down to release it. So if you can see that there, you can't put this in the wrong way. It's in there, you push this down, that little lever there releases it. So that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty sturdy. This, uh, I'm not sure. Let me get a magnet here. Let's just see if this is metal. So this here is a magnet. This is metal. It's a metal cap. This is metal. Um, this little sliding piece that pushes in is not metal. This part is metal. Okay, so anyways, that's that. You push that in there. It's got it's got a pretty snug fit. And then this goes into your phone, and you can also plug this up to a pair of headphones, and you can, I guess, listen to yourself to see how you sound as you're talking. Um, it also comes with pop filter and a audio patch cord. So I think I already showed you those. No. Hold on a second. Uh, this must be the windshield and this must be the pop filter. Duh. I'm not really sure which is which, but like I said, I'll Google it and I'll throw it up on the screen there. Um, yeah, so this is just gonna go over it like that. I'm assuming if you're using it like that, you don't need this because in the picture, they don't really show you using both. You're using one or the other. Comes with a couple sets of O-rings. I'm not really sure what those are for. Let's see. The extra rubber bands are for these here. So when they get worn out, you can just replace them. But these rubber bands are going from one side to the other, one side to the other to make a cross. And basically you're gonna take your microphone and you're gonna shove it in that middle hole. You're gonna kind of spread it open and slide it through there. And this is going to free float your microphone inside of this stand so that it when you're speaking into it, it doesn't get any vibrations from the plastic stand in case like the table is bumped or something like that. It doesn't bring off any of that noise into your microphone because it's soft mounted. Um, you're gonna push that down till it gets about right there in between that either side of this gap. Um, it said that this was 360 degrees. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's just because it it spins onto this. So you can, you know, spin it till you have it in the direction that you want it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten mine all the, all the way so it's tight. Sit it down like that. Then it comes with this um, rod. They call this a spiral tube. But anyways, you're just going to uh, either slide this through these two holes and then mount this, or what I would do is first screw this screw down to get some thread exposed, and then this is going to go into the uh, filter here, the filter's mount, and you're going to screw it in and get it until... It it's kind of almost bottomed out and snug. But then just loosen it up a little bit. Put it in the holes here. You're gonna loosen these so that your rod can slide through. Just like that. You're gonna put this up in the air, obviously. 
and then you're gonna slide this down until it gets the proper distance. I don't know what the proper distance is, but I would guess about right when that bottoms out is probably pretty good right there. Something like that. And then you're gonna tighten up this little nut up here. You probably wanna get like a little bitty wrench that's probably like a six millimeter or something to that nature. And then boom, there's your condenser mic set up. You're gonna pop this in in the correct angle that it's supposed to go in. This is really a tight fit right there. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Check that out. It's all set up there. So now um, you could either put this out of the way and throw this on, or if you're just holding the mic, you could have this on there. Um, I don't think you would want to use it like this. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, we'll try it every single way here. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I really dig this. I can't wait. I hope it works good. Um, so let's give it a shot, shall we? So this is me talking right now with the Pixel, Google Pixel 4 5G, 4A 5G, the Google Pixel 4A 5G microphone from the phone. It is in a phone case, so, but the microphone has a hole uh, right at the hole of the phone case. So I'm assuming, and it's right here by my mouth, you should be able to hear me clearly. This is what the audio sounds like. Now we are gonna switch to the Evoder YX3 sound. Two hours later. I have to like lean down when I'm sitting in my chair to get close enough to the mic to actually have a good sound quality when I'm telling you something. We are plugged in. The microphone is on, testing, testing. Uh, I guess it just receives its power. I just received a notica notification on my phone. It said something about I have finally figured out how to make it work with my Android phone. And right now, I have taken out the screws for the mount that it comes with. And I'll be adding it to this mount here which is another unboxing that I will post in the description. Okay, I'm just gonna, for now, put a zip tie. That was ghetto. Can see I just put two zip ties through it and now instead of this being this short it's however long I want to make it you know extendable uh, Daddy. Second, baby. so this thing right now can go about uh, four feet tall whereas before I would have to like lean down when I'm sitting in my chair to get close enough to the mic to actually have a good sound quality when I'm telling you something versus when I'm back here. So when I'm sitting at my desk and I'm doing an unboxing and I'm this close to the mic, it's going to sound good versus when it was on this one, it was down here and I was straining my back to try and... Uh, get to it so that's something they probably could change is to change this to a quarter thread mount so that it can be taken off of this and put onto a normal extendable uh, mount or they could just make this extendable that would be great um, so anyways that's my only complaint about the whole thing thumbs up <laughs> yep. testing testing here some headphones these are my gaming headphones they're turtle beaches 
They're pretty old ones. They are the uh, 420. They are the 420X Stealth headphones. I really love these headphones. I've had them for years and they just haven't given up on me. They're rechargeable, wireless. Um, normally with these headphones, you plug a USB into your Xbox or your PC or whatever you're using. I've tried plugging it into my phone before, but it doesn't work. If it would, then I would just use these all the time. I wouldn't even need this microphone. But um, yeah, it has luckily a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And here I have an auxiliary cable. So I'm gonna plug that in here and we're gonna test out using the green female that it comes with. So we're going to plug that in. So I already have them turned on. So testing, testing, testing. I don't hear myself talking, but what I'm assuming is going to happen is when I stop this video and I press play back on my phone, it's going to play the audio back to me through this cable um, out of my phone auxiliary jack. So, testing, testing. Stop it. <laughs> testing. I guess right now is a good time to test if this microphone picks up audio noise from a certain distance because my wife is in the room talking to her mother about 10 feet away. So if you can hear her, then yes, this microphone will pick up other noises that are 10 feet away. I don't know how much more further away or how loud the noise needs to be, but if you hear her talking, then that's what that is. Um, as far as getting the microphone to work with the phone, I had to download this phone, this application for my particular phone. Um, I have a Android device, which is a Google Pixel 4a 5G. Um, in the instructions, it said that you have to, um, if you have an Android phone, when used on Samsung phone mobile devices, because it doesn't work or doesn't have earback function, you need to download music software to use the microphone and hear your own voice. When you use on a iPhone or iPad, you need to use the iPhone's own adapter cable to connect the microphone and you need to turn on the microphone first before you connect the mic to your phone. So with that said, um, I just basically went to Google Play Store and I typed in the eVoter microphone and I just chose this one right here that says microphone. eVoter does not have their own application so I just typed in eVoter microphone but you could probably just type in microphone app and you'll get something similar. I downloaded this app it was pretty simple when you go into it it tells you when the microphone is on the air you just tap the microphone itself and it will prompt you to allow the mic the app to uh, use your use your phone and use your microphone settings and you just give it approval and then it starts working so I'm gonna test it with making videos now and see if that actually works backing out going to video now I don't know if I can record a video while I'm screen recording but we're gonna give it a shot anyway so there's another test my kid is downstairs and she just screamed pretty loud so I, if you heard that then yeah if you have somebody in your house and they're screaming in the next room or downstairs or wherever upstairs then if you can hear that she just did it again then yes, this condenser microphone will pick up those noises. Alright, we're going to try recording.
not to confuse you, but the audio that you are hearing right now of me speaking is added later in post. It did not work. When I am using screen recorder, it controls the microphone and will not allow the video to record any audio. Okay guys, <clears throat> I finally figured out how to make, testing, I finally figured out how to make the microphone work while you are recording a video. Um, what you're seeing right now is just a screen recording of me holding my phone. I am not actually recording a video. When I do start recording a video while screen recording, because screen recording is in control of my microphone right now, when I go to the actual video of pressing a, re a recording of a video, it, it doesn't get audio because screen record has the audio right now and you're you're going into like a different um, application it doesn't it can't use it can't use the microphone for both applications at the same time so you just have to trust and believe me that when I say when you turn on your your um, camera and you get into the video mode you can see here mine is showing on the left side of the screen swipe down for external mic so if you were holding the phone right side up, yes, you would swipe down, but I'm going to swipe left or I'm going to swipe right and bring up this page. You can see here where it says at the bottom external mic right here. It says external mic on. Mine was off naturally from stock settings. It's on off because, you know, you're not using a mic an external mic. You're using normally you're using the microphone in your phone. So you just have to swipe those settings down and turn that microphone on. When you do that and you record a video, the microphone does work. Um, if you do that without the app, it's not necessary. You don't need the app. The app that I've already previously showed you, it will work. Somehow I made it work, but then later on, when I would go from the app to the video to the camera app of your phone it would stop working so I would say just go to your settings and turn this external mic on and do it that way don't do what the instructions say and download a microphone external microphone app that's not necessary I'm gonna delete that now actually so I had told you earlier in the video that what you need to do is download the microphone app, which is this one here. But um, actually, in fact, for my particular application or you know my phone that I have, I do not need this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete it and um, go back to the camera. All right and hopefully it is still working testing if you can hear me tapping on this like I'm doing with my finger then it is working because my phone my phone microphone can't just pick me up with my my the skin of my finger bumping this microphone so if you hear that it is actually working so I'm gonna stop the screen recording now and I'm gonna actually record a video with external mic turned on and we'll see how that sounds okay guys sorry to drag that out so long now you are actually seeing an actual video of my phone using its regular camera app and I am recording a video not screen recording this is an actual video if you can hear that testing 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 how does it sound guys this is your boy Sabrap testing the new microphone that I bought on Amazon, the eVoter Professional. <laughs> the professional microphone. It's called the YX3. All you have to do is swipe down in your video settings and there should be a setting to turn the external mic on. Now that is with my Google 4A 
5G phone. If you have a different phone and it doesn't have that setting, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to tell you other than I guess to follow the instructions and try to find an external mic um, application and try it that way. It worked for me at first and then it stopped working. So I don't know what happened. Um, but anyways, if you do end up using the app, make sure you turn the gain at least below like 5 to 0 because when it was above that, it just sounded horrible. It was picking up way too much noise and it was just blowing your actual audio out. It sounded really bad. Um, I actually turned it all the way down to zero and turned the volume up and it sounded great. So with all that said, um, I think there was a couple other things that I missed because I was recording earlier with the screen record on and I was saying some things but it wasn't being actually recorded. Um, the audio wasn't being recorded. If you have an Android, I mean an Apple device, um, and it actually has an auxiliary port, which we all know that most newer devices don't. Most newer Apple devices don't have an auxiliary cord. But if you have an older one, or maybe even a newer one that does come with one, then you're in great shape because Apple devices already have that. Uh, what do they call it ear back or playback function and you can just plug it in and as long as the microphone is already turned on it should work so you guys probably won't have as much stress as we do Android users but Apple sucks Android users good job stay with Android you got SD cards you got unlockable features I don't even want to get into that that's a whole nother argument but anyways um, yeah that was one thing um, I can't remember what the other thing is if I think of it by the time I finish editing all this I'll throw it up on the screen I'm really done with this by now this has went way too long uh, to do this unboxing but I do think that the the quality is decent and um, now I can actually have my microphone on my desk and it just looks cool it looks professional so you know I'll have this cable off hanging over the side and my phone will be in its stand where it normally goes when I'm doing my reviews and my unboxings and you guys should be able to hear me clearly and it should sound nice and smooth and crisp so yeah I'm excited about that now I'm going to go ahead and unbox this in another video if you'd like to see this. It is the Yuchan soldering iron. I bought this also on Amazon. It's a copycat basically of the TS100 that all the FPD gurus swear by. Um, and it's really awesome. It comes with a plug-in for AC. It comes in with a plug for uh, XT60 battery connection um, and also USB so and it's it's supposedly heats up to 350 degrees Celsius in less than like two minutes so yeah we're gonna see if this actually works and it didn't really cost much at all not even close to what a TS100 costs and also don't forget about the Mobula 6 upgrade I got some motors over here and a new camera we're going to be putting the Caddx Ant on there and some really gangster motors that's going to make this thing a beast. So if you're in, if you're interested in stuff like that, make sure to subscribe, uh, follow me, put, hit that notifications bell, and go ahead and stay tuned because I will have plenty of unboxings and FPV builds coming to you soon because I have finally cleaned off my desk and I'm finally going to start actually doing some reviews and some unboxings and some builds because yeah that's what I want to do it excites me and I hope it excites you too if it does you know what to do follow your boy you want that you want that you want that feeling bad you want crazy bad you want that feeling bad you want crazy you want that feeling bad you want crazy bad you want that feeling bad would you should know I still I got it for you I still 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 got it for you oh y'all ain't got nothing in me